everyone. Today I want to talk about polymorphism and dynamic binding. So what is polymorphism in programming? Polymorphism literally means multiple forms or multiple types. And in programming that means that a variable of a superclass type can be assigned an object of a subclass type. So let's look at an example. The example I want to go into is we have a animal class and that serves as a superclass and we have two subclasses dog and cat. So let's create our animal class and let's create a dog class and this dog class extends or inherits from animal and then I create a second class cat Now you could type it in with extends like I did before or you can select the superclass here as well and generate that part of the code. So animal and now you see it, it generated the extends animal. So I have superclass animal and two subclasses cat and dog and let's create a main method That doesn't inherit from anything, but I generate the main method for it. And here I create a variable animal. And this animal is now of type superclass of my animal type. And obviously I can do new animal. So this is the standard way. Now poly what polymorphism allows us is assign an object of the subclass so a new dog for example or I can do animal equals new cat so you can see I can to this variable animal I can reference an animal object I can reference a dog object or I can reference a cat object so really any of these subclasses are possible and this is polymorphism. Now let's look at dynamic binding. Dynamic binding essentially means we dynamically bind methods to the object that we have defined here based on the type of object that we are referencing. So let's take a look. Let's create a method in animal public void run and I simply output that my animal is running. Now I go to my cat class and I override that method. Public void run. And here I output the cat is running. And then I do the same in my dog class. So I overwrite the run method. And here I output print line dog. Dog is running. So I have a run method here in my superclass and both cat and dog overwrite that method with one to the, the cat outputs cat is running and the dog outputs dog is running. So let's assign animal and then we do animal dot run. We do animal dot run after we initialize it to a dog. And then we do animal dot run after we initialize it to a cat. Now let's run this code. And we can see first it outputs animals running, then dog is running, then cat is running. So it doesn't use the type of the variable, it actually uses the 
type of the object that is defined to determine which run method to call. Well, here it calls the one of type animal, here it calls the one of dog, here it calls the one of cat. And that is what dynamic binding is. Thank you for watching.